Tron Air, the most trusted name in aircraft ground support equipment. In today's video, we address the features and pre-operation checklist of the Tron Air multi-head tow bar product line. Tron Air offers over 300 OEM approved aircraft tow bar and tow bar head configurations designed to protect the landing gear while safely and efficiently moving aircraft. Multi-head tow bar tow head features. Every multi-head tow bar has a towing eye bolt. The eye bolt incorporates a compression spring to dampen shock loads during the tow process. A lifting handle allows the operator to guide the eye bolt to the tug hitch. The model displayed incorporates a bumper, but some tow bar designs feature casters. Either configuration protects the eye bolt from contact with the ground. On our heavy duty multi-head tow bar designs, we often feature a hydraulic operated landing gear to raise and lower the towing head. Utilize the hand pump to lift the tow bar and the release valve to lower the tow bar. On this model, the head attachment hole comes standard to fit all 800 series tow bar heads. This includes an adapter for 500 and 600 series tow bar heads as well. By removing the ball lock pin and inserting the adapter, the unit is now ready for safe connection with 500 and 600 series tow bar heads. Tow head features. Our tow bar heads feature either sliding and locking pins or axle adapters with locking mechanism for safe attachment to the aircraft landing gear. Shear pins are an additional safety feature found on some models to protect equipment from damage due to excessive loads or stress. Pre-operation checklist. Prior to every use, it is important to visually inspect the tow bar and tow bar head for wear, damage, or defects. If damage or defects are found, immediately remove the equipment from service and contact Tron Air for repair. For the shock assembly, verify the weld between the eye bolt and the tube isn't cracked, the mount bolts are intact, and the eye bolt is not worn. On the tow bar weldment, check the structure and the head end of the tow bar to ensure it is not bowed or dented. All welds are intact and ball lock pins are present and the holes are not elongated. For the landing gear assembly, check tire inflation, the wheels are secured to the axle, and the assembly is intact. Check the head weldment tow bar head. Check the head weldment and shear plates for cracks or bending. Inspect the shear pins, bushings, and pivot bolt for damage or missing components. Verify the head pivots freely when the shear pin is removed. Confirm that the sliding pin moves freely and the roll pin is present and check the locking pin for any damage. If none exist, reinstall on the tow head. For models that connect to the aircraft via the axle adapter, verify there is no damage to the adapter plates or locking mechanism and the bolts are secure. Once all checks are complete and you confirm the equipment is free of wear, damage, and defects, you are ready to put the tow bar to use. The tow bar should be attached to the aircraft first, then connected to the tug to avoid possible aircraft damage. Ensure the aircraft attachment head is locked in place before towing the aircraft. For more information, contact product support at tronair.com or call 419-866-6301.